this is about the movie Watch Along. And as I've observed on the polls, things did not work out and not enough people had voted for me to actually make a choice. No one has a choice. No one is able to choose what kind of, what kind of, no one solid is able to choose what kind of, what kind of movie they like to watch or what type, what the name of the movie would be. So I devised a solution to this by actually spinning the titles on a wheel. I did this to make sure that there is random chance somewhere. Okay, you would notice that two of the entries over here, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom and Kung Fu Panda 4 have bigger, have bigger portions because I chose these choices on the poll. I, w I would most likely like to actually watch these. There were supposed to be three choices, right? So if I chose three choices, there, would sh there should be a third bigger portion here. But I only chose two because these two are what I do like to, uh, and what I feel like I should want to watch. But I want to take it, uh, I want to take the title by chance. And here is the simple mechanic to this. Whichever is remaining from the wheel and i mean it whichever is remaining on the wheel will be the next movie for us to watch together on discord i'll be streaming yes but i will not uh, but i will be streaming on twitch on twitch and facebook of the movie but i will not be showing the movie on stream it will however be shown on discord and it will, however, be shown on Patreon. So I know that I've at least reacted to the movie. I know that I've at least reacted to the movie. And I will not be speaking. I will not be exactly speaking on Discord. So I will mute myself on Discord. But I will be reacting on the movie itself. I will not stop the movie either. That is definitely an in uninterruptible session. Definitely a hands down watch a lot that's what i want it to be okay now i've got some biases uh measure two uh, uh, aquaman and the lost king uh, aquaman and what was the aquaman and the lost kingdom and the kufu panda 4 are two bigger titles i look i do like to watch but I added others in case that others would actually like these ones too. And the other entries are, and I mean it, you're seeing Back to the Future, right? That's the entire Back to the Future trilogy. One, two, and three. With Michael J. Fox in it. Okay, all three movies of the Back to the, Back to the Future trilogy. And then there is Immaculate, a 2024 film. I'm not sure if that's horror, but if it is horror, okay. There is a chance I'd like to try something new. There, there also another 2024 film, an unknown uh, from an unknown place, and I don't know why. I really do not read the synopsis of some of the newer titles that I'm seeing. There is the Last Kumite on 2023 uh, 2024 if i am desecrating the pronunciation the entire pronunciation of this then i'm very very sorry for those who actually know the real language of this wonka 2023 that is a movie that i'm supposedly looking forward to but i lost my but i lost my momentum because hollywood is being is such an ass because i don't know what kind of adaptations they do and i don't know how well they do it okay Let's be real, Hollywood is doing badly. So close, 2002, I watched that before. But this wheel will give you guys a chance to watch to watch a movie that I liked before. It was on a VCD, if I'm right. So close, 2002, starring Shuchi and Karen Mock. So basically, this is China. This is basically Mandarin language. Mandarin language, but I can... Mandarin, if I'm right, Cantonese. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which dialect, which dialect of Ma which dialect of Mandarin is it that we uh, that they're using there. But anyway, it, 
So Close 2002 is one of the choices. Madam Web was an anticipated film until uh, audiences kind of found it. Ugh. Still, I am curious to actually see what the movie is about. Madam Web is one of the options here. So yeah. Kung Fu Panda 4. Definitely. The, the Kung Fu Panda series of movies. I'm going to say is great with Jack Black in it, and it continues to be great with Jack Black in it. Okay? Let's be real about this. I like Jack Black. I like the School of Rock. I I like him. I like him voice acting as Bowser. Okay? I really do. I really do. I watched the Super Mario movie. He was amazing there. He was amazing there. Okay? 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 Anyway, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. The Aquaman series of movies, I think this is the second movie already, all considering. There is a bad reputation that formed when it came to, the, to a certain part of the cast. Okay? Which is why I did not look forward to watching Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. However... I still know that DC has good cinematography, even if they screwed up the basis as to how the movie was made. Basically, how the actors were actually put there in the first place, and... Okay, let's just be real about this. I don't really care about real-world events that cause this, that causes movies to flop. But as long as the movie is produced well, and it actually creates a good narrative in the story I don't really care that much just as long as the movie turns out okay it is just as long as the movie turns out okay then I don't really care much about what happens outside of production okay but I do want to find concern if any of the cast is in wrongdoing is do is doing stuff wrong like what Ezra Miller has done okay basically assault he was arrested but was he taken out of the movie it was he removed from the movie no but his reputation was stained still I want to see how the movie turns out anyway if the if the writing is bad if the consistency of DC movies becomes shallow because of this movie because uh, because of because of Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, just because of Amber Her the Amber Heard Johnny Depp situation, then unfortunately, it's not just the it's not just the cast that has the problem. It's also the production. Basically, Hollywood is losing its touch. Hollywood is just losing its touch of entertaining people, entertaining people the right way. Right? I'm just saying. I don't. Mo I don't listen to that much of the issues outside of production, but those are real factors as to why movies are failing. Movies are failing because your means to an end is a shit show. If the act, if the ba being a bad actor is one means to an end, that's not how you solidly convince your audience that your movie is great, right? It makes sense, right? I'm just saying. So anyway, we're already here. We're now about to spin the wheel. This will be several times. Once one, once one choice is picked, that choice will be removed. Once, one, then it will, the wheel will spin again. And then if another choice is picked, that choice will be removed. The wheel will keep turning again and again and again until only two remain. And once the wheel is spun again, the la the very choice that is chosen there will be the movie that we will be watching on Discord. Okay? We will be watching it together on Discord. So, those are the rules for this. I made my explanations as to what I feel about movies about uh, what I feel about movies. I just want to make sure that the movies are looking good before everything, you know, before every, b before everything. I just want to make sure that it's out there so that no one mistakes my intentions here. All right.
Without further ado, let us begin. We will spin for the first time. First choice that gets picked here will be removed, and then the wheel will be spun again. The last Kumite is going is going to be hidden. That's removed. Let's spin again. We are going to spin this again. Oh my god. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is gone. We're hiding it. Sorry guys. We're not watching that one. We're not watching that one. We're not watching that one. I'm gonna check if there's anything the chat has to say about it. Oh, I'm sorry. No objections? Okay, let's go let's keep going then. Let's keep going then. And the uh, wheel lands on Wonka 2023. Okay, so we're hiding this one as well. That has been removed from the choices. Let's go again. Damn, I wanted to watch that. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I should not have... Maybe I should not have made my obvious choices bigger. My, my, obvious, my obvious bigger choice is the more likely to be chosen. So it gets removed. Anyway, fine. I don't really care much. <laughs> anyway, we got four choices left right now. So close. Back to the, back to the Future Trilogy. Immaculate and Madam Web. Honestly, I want to try to see if Madam Web holds up its own, even if Spider Man is not there. Immaculate has been removed. Immaculate has been removed. All right. Three more to go. Oh, shit. Are you serious? I wanted you guys to see it too! God. Maybe. Okay. I'm hiding it. We got two more choices left. And the choice that remains here will be the movie that. The, the choice that will be winning on this round between these two will be the movie that will be the movie that we will watch. If it's the Back to the Future trilogy, we'll have to schedule separate. We'll have to schedule separate days for the three movies, okay? Or maybe if you guys like to actually like to do a watchathon and shit. But I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm built for that. But anyway, let's go for it. Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, it's decided. We're watching Michael J. Fox. Oh my God! We are watching Michael J. Fox, ladies and gentlemen. We are watching Michael J. Fox. Oh boy, I know him from Stuart Little. But yeah, I watched him before just on VHS, but still, if people have not seen this, why the frick not? Why the frick not? I mean, Back to the Future, I'm sure, is something that people may have not, uh, some people may have not seen before. Maybe there are Gen Alphas who have not seen this. Maybe there are Gen, uh, maybe there are Gen Z's who have not seen this before. You guys should invite your fellow, uh, you guys should f definitely invite Gen Z's and Gen uh, Gen Z's and uh, Gen Alphas to actually watch with me because seriously, the three movies have different produ production methods. Okay, I'm not going to spoil much, but let's be clear about this. How the the first movie had an actor had an actor and then the second and third movies did not have that same actor okay that's what i know about the three movies basically it's the girl basically it's the girl but that's fine that is actually fine 
what matters is the three movies are actually worth the worth the watch people loved it people at least loved it maybe it's soured a bit i'm not exactly sure as to what the atmosphere of the times were back then because i was born in 1993 so i don't exactly have a critique of the movie i don't exactly have the atmosphere of how things how things were when this when the three movies actually came out okay sure so now that we have established that the back to the future trilogy these three movies are what we're going to be watching at least the first one will be scheduled somehow i will have to check back back to the future quick google search will tell you that back to the future is a trilogy of movies right but it's also a game because telltale uh, telltale likes to impress us with their mechanics when it comes to storytelling so it becomes a nice it, beco- it, it becomes a nice interactable media as well so back to the future was also apparently adapted into a game a, a, an interactable game from telltale telltale games actually did uh, get, did a good job i saw a preview of it too so great now Back to the Future. I'm reading from the wiki right now. Back to the Future is a 1985 American science fiction film directed by Robert Zemeckis and written by Zemeckis and Bob Gale. It stars Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lloyd, Leia Thompson, Crispin Glover, and Thomas F. Wilson. Set in 1985. I'm not going to spoil this movie much for you guys, but let me tell you. There are three of these. There are three of these things. All right. There are three of these movies. The Future 2 and The Future 3. So this was released. The first one was released in 1985. The next 1989, four years after the first movie. And then 1990, five years after the first movie. So basically, it was an adventure. Five years of making this entire trilogy. Five years of making this entire trilogy. And as much as I remember when it comes to the trilogy, only one actor, or only one actor had, had left, for, left from the second and third. It's only the girl. Basically, it was only the girl. And then the music. Uh, music was actually by Alan Silvestri on all three. So great. This is actually great. All three movies had the same music composer, which is great. Back to the future, huh? I never knew that the, this would actually be the next one that I'd be going for. But I guess it was. Maybe it's got good intention that Back to the Future is actually an exciting. Uh, exciting trilogy of films but hey Michael J. Fox is great if you guys haven't actually seen Back to the Future trilogy I have already seen it but you guys are definitely going to be with me on the watch along I'll be reacting to it on Patreon you guys will not be hearing my voice on Discord you guys will be hearing my voice on the Patreon video that is a definite promise so finally we know what to watch. I will see you guys on the Discord. I want to enjoy that movie with you guys. I'm hoping that you guys come. 